developing tonight, a convicted gunman learns his fate nearly two years after Volusia County deputies rescued three children and their mom during a domestic dispute involving a firearm. This 2016 video shows Deputy Eric Cheek approaching the home while Emmanuel Rosado and his family were still inside. At one point, Rosado exchanges gunfire with deputies. News 6's Lauren Korn explains why the judge handed down a life sentence. A sobbing 27-year-old Emmanuel Rosado in court today, telling the judge how sorry he was for shooting his wife and exchanging gunfire with deputies. Inside his Deltona home back in July 2016. I know, baby. I know. Body camera also shows the deputies saving Rosado's estranged wife and three children inside. Come here, sweetheart. In court, Rosado claimed he tried taking his own life, but accidentally shot his wife in the leg. Fighting up the jury spouse, cheating on you with the, her drug dealer, and using drugs behind your back. Part of me just wanted to destroy the house because it wasn't fair. I worked all my life. I put myself through college. I did everything possible <laughs> to provide. And it just doesn't be, it's just like that. Rosado's attorney pleaded with the judge to give his client a maximum of 20 years for attempted second degree murder. The evidence suggests that he was waiting on the officers to get there to try to shoot them. That, I don't think the evidence shows that. But the state argued Rosado deserves the mandatory life sentence. Mr. Rosado was ready to ambush those law enforcement officers when they arrived that day. Uh, upon being called by his wife, Victoria Rosado. The judge ultimately siding with the state that he has no discretion, giving Rosado life behind bars. For the record, I am in ink checking all for a term of natural life. In Delane, Lauren Korn, News 6. Rosado's attorney says he plans to appeal.